Shalom brothers and sisters. So Taiwan has activated defenses in response to Chinese incursions again. Taiwan scrambled fighter jets put its navy on alert and activated missile systems in response to nearby operations by 34 Chinese military aircraft and 9 warships. That's part of Beijing's strategy to unsettle and intimidate the self-governing island democracy. It's working. The large-scale Chinese deployment came as Beijing increases preparations for a potential blockade or military action against Taiwan that have stirred increasing concern amongst military leaders, diplomats and elected officials in the US, Taiwan's key ally. Taiwan's defense ministry said 20 aircraft on Tuesday crossed the line of the Taiwan Strait that has been the unofficial buffer zone between the two sides since 1949. That announcement came as NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg warned that China's growing assertiveness and collaboration with Russia pose a threat not only to Asia but also to Europe. On a visit to Japan on Wednesday, Stoltenberg said China is increasingly investing in nuclear weapons and long-range missiles without providing transparency or engaging in arms control talks. Stoltenberg earlier criticized China for bullying its neighbors and threatening Taiwan. He stressed the need for Japan and other democracies to work together with the alliance to defend the international order. China's foreign ministry responded by accusing NATO of exceeding its mandate and having played up China's threats. Now, when do you think in any weird little world that you're living in that they're going to be transparent about what they plan to do with their nuclear weapons and long-range missiles? They plan to use them on you. That's the plan. They're practicing on mock-ups of aircraft carriers, American aircraft carriers, in their deserts. You think that's just because they run out of video games? The war's coming. The tension's building. There's no transparency needed. We can all see it clearly. And it's being pushed the whole time by aggression on both sides. This is all heading towards the war that they want, that they need to A, bring the numbers down, B, drive fear and chaos, and C, bring everybody that's left under control. And then fortunately, addendum, Christians won't be here for that. God bless, keep watching and keep praying for all those innocents that are caught up in the midst of all this madness and chaos running rampant around us in this age of darkness. Keep looking up. Shalom.